what's going on guys thrift bcq here and in this video i'm going to show you the sales that i made for the month of april so let's get right into it man what a month it was so crazy like i'm so so amazed by how well it was um from the month of march i had about uh three sales which were crap i mean then again i only had what probably 15 items at the time so uh i've reached my goal which was having at least 50 items by the end of april so um i was at 54 um it got a bit lower just because i'm planning on doing a couple of things with uh like my clothing uh for my inventory uh so i I, br I went down to about 50 exactly which is fine which is where i want to be but i do want to try to get to the over 100 mark by uh the end of next month or if not more but um yeah that's my goal but for the month of april i was so happy i had 19 sales and um uh, i couldn't be more happier seriously like it was so amazing like uh, like seeing all these sales come in but yeah i'm gonna go through it as fast as i can I, this is probably gonna take a while so so the first item is a toronto maple leafs jersey uh, i believe the sale happened just before the playoffs started so uh yeah i don't think they would have gotten it now since that they got eliminated so um i had the this is one of the items i got uh that was already in my house so and i wasn't wearing it so i decided to sell it i had it on sale for about probably since the beginning of the of March and it wasn't really moving until I lowered the price so it started at around I'd say uh 1999 and luckily um someone bought it at 7.99 though <laughs> someone bought it at 7.99 whatever it's a sale I wasn't being picky anyways I had zero in it $7.99 and yeah so the next item is a uh the game Super Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch now this is the one where I had that issue with the buyer where uh they weren't paying yet they made the offer for uh $40 I had it at 45 uh, I had nothing in the game because uh, it was mine originally and I finished it so I had no use for it anymore so Rather than going to EB and getting $2 for the game, I thought maybe I could make some money on eBay. So I had it on for $45, sold it for $40, and they already paid already, so and it's been delivered, so good sale. Uh, the next one is another Nintendo Switch game. It's called ARMS, and it's for it was a pretty good game. Uh, I finished it already, and frankly, I got sick of it already, so I decided to sell it. So. Um, I had originally on for 50 but I, I did end up selling it for 45 and again I had nothing on the, in the game so pure profit buddy. Okay and the next item is a expired HP ink. Yeah I sold an expired ink. I have no idea why they buy expired ink. I guess it's still good but hey I sold it. So I don't I didn't think of any anything of it. I had zero in it. I had it for a year and I didn't end up I never ended up using the ink because of the printer that I had for it broke. So it was just sitting there. So I tried putting it for five bucks. No one would take it. And so someone made a best offer of two fifty. So I'm like, whatever, I'll I'll just it's a sale, so I'll take it. So I ended up selling it for two fifty from five dollars. Again, that's two 50 more than what I had before so again after fees actually it's, it was in cents probably okay the next item was another item that I had in my house that I sold it was a Nintendo Game Boy Advance it was one of the original ones that came out so um, I was pretty pleased with the sale that I made I had zero in it and I sold it for $40 all right the next item was a pretty interesting item uh, it was a Ghostbusters uh, slimed hero uh, it was slimer and what happens the, this thing is pretty cool when you push the arm the eyes and the mouth just pop out like this it's pretty cool 
So uh, it was a vintage one. It was back in the early 90s. And um, uh, someone from the U.S. wanted to buy it so bad. Like, really, um, they were, for some reason, though, they, they weren't able to purchase it because um, I wasn't able to ship it from Canada to the U.S. for this item specifically. I don't know why. So I, I tried to do whatever I could. I mean, I wanted to make the sale, right? Um, so I, I tried relisting the item to try to make it available to the U.S. and then at setting my settings so that it's available to people in the U.S. And uh, luckily it worked uh, eventually. So um, I worked with the buyer on that one as much as I could to make sure I got that sale and it paid off. I got it, I sold it for $12.99. Again, I had nothing in it. I had that since I was a kid, so I'm glad I was able to go out to a avid Ghostbuster fan, and uh, I hope they enjoy it. All right, the next one is a TurboGrafx-16 video game called Devil's Crush, and I saw comps on this game. I was like, are you serious? This game goes for that much? So, like, I thought for, like, around 30, 40 bucks, but, um, I mean... I, it was on for about I'd say two weeks. I didn't see any movement at all. There weren't any watchers on it So I did end up lowering the price on it, which is still pretty good for me because I mean I had zero in the game anyway So I ended up selling it for $27 plus shipping All right, the next one is a Canon selfie uh, CP 720 digital thermal photo cam printer. Sorry. So um, This one was pretty interesting. I got it out of Valley Village and uh it was in one of the i guess the trolleys that were coming in to put the stuff away and luckily i was able to find this one now the box looked like garbage but um when you look in the inside everything looked like brand new so um i tried testing it out and everything and unfortunately the ink was no longer good so um i put in the notes that uh, the the ink was not good anymore and they'd probably have to buy ink but I did mention that it's still readily available. They can go to Wal not Walmart, they can go to Staples or Amazon or eBay, and the ink the ink is still there. It's still on sale. So um, I had it. I got it for uh, I think it was eight ninety nine, and so I had it originally for twenty five ninety nine. Uh, no one was taking it. I ended up putting it at twenty two ninety nine. Then someone made an offer for nineteen plus shipping. Oh, sorry, no, they, sorry, they, they made it for, someone actually offered me 25 and they were willing to meet up with me and offer me more for it because they didn't want to pay for the shipping. But for me specifically, like, it, because I consider it a business that what I'm doing, so I, I really don't want to do any type of meetups or anything. That's not what I, would, I wanted to do EV for. The whole point was for me to ship it out, so... I said no, I, I didn't want to do any type of meetup, but I was willing to move down a bit just so that he understood that I was serious about the sale still. And so I moved it from uh, 22 to 19 for him. Uh, so he accepted it and um, yeah, he still wanted the, the thing after that. And the next item is the Star Fox video game for the uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, if you saw my last video, you saw it was in an auction. Uh, it was a game that I had originally, didn't have anything in it. I uh, just wanted to try out the auction to see how it was. I saw the game go, it went for around 10, 15 bucks. So I thought maybe I would get that, but unfortunately no one bid on it except for one person with for 99 cents. So yeah, that's how much I sold it for. All right, the next item is another Ghostbusters toy that I had, it was the, uh, slimed heroes peter venkman toy with the proton pack now this was a pretty interesting toy it was one where i think if you put water on the actual toy i think it was like cold water you can see slime on them so it's pretty cool and then when it you put hot water in them it all disappears so it's a pretty cool toy so um there was a little bit of damage on the gun there was like a little crack on the handle but i made note of that i also made note like the, the laser that was part of the gun it's had a bit of wear on it as well so just keep it keep that in mind when you do have damages or blemishes or anything like that on your item try to make sure you disclose as much as you can just so that you won't get hit with that when you do get the item to the buyer and then they complain and then they want to return it because it wasn't called the way it was supposed to so I learned a lot of that from my my previous uh, job that I had before 
um, doing arbitration. So me understanding that uh, you got to disclose these things is just absolutely the right thing you have to do when you're posting these things. So I sold it for $750 plus shipping, which is not bad. I had zero in it. Okay, the next item I have is a, another TurboGrafx-16 game. It's uh, Galaga 90. And uh, this was a classic game. I love this game. Um, so I played it when I was a little kid. So um, had no use for it anymore. Uh, I had it originally for $25.99. Uh, someone offered me $20.99 plus shipping. So I was like, I had zero in it and 20 is... I'll take 20, no problem. So um, I sold it for $20.99. Uh, and yeah. All right, this item, I don't know why. I saw a video of someone saying these things sell like crazy. So I wanted, I found some at the Value Village that I went to and I tried to give it a try to see how it went. This did not sell. Like this was, this took so long for me to sell. So it was a Cuisinart 14 piece uh, knife block with the, with the wood finish. So you can fit up to 14 items in there. So um, yeah, I had it originally for, I think it was $22.99. I bought the thing for $5.99. Uh, no one was buying it. No one had it, no, I had no watchers. It was on for a long time, uh, in my opinion at least. Uh, and it ended up selling finally for $12.99 plus shipping. So at least I, at least I made a bit more than double my money on that. I'm happy. All right, the next item is actually, it wasn't one of my items. Uh, one of my uh, old coworkers um, was actually noticing that I was posting stuff that I was selling and they were wondering, hey, um, I have a bunch of stuff that I'm trying to get rid of. Would you be able to sell it for me? I'm like, sure, I mean, why not? Can I get, like, I'll do it if you can give me a cut of it too. Like, so um, I had it on consignment. So I ended up selling uh, this thing, it was pretty quick. As soon as I had it up, uh, I probably had like five or six watchers on the thing. It's a uh, Ultimate Gamer Gremlins movie collectible toy figure. And this thing was pretty gruesome. It was pretty detailed too. It was pretty cool. Uh, but uh, the thing I think he got for like, I think 30, 40 bucks. And uh, I ended up selling it for $56.99. So it was a pretty good, pretty good sale for that one. Okay, the next one is another item that I had on consignment as well from that same guy. So uh, he wanted he wanted like 70, 75 bucks for it. I'm like, uh, I mean, what's the lowest he'll take for it? I mean, he, luckily it was way more than what he was, the lowest that he was looking for. Um, it's a Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees action figure. And it's, uh, I got it for, I managed to sell it for 65.99 plus shipping. So that was a great, that was a great sell. And look, I did. Luckily, I didn't have any. I didn't have to put any money into it, so I got a cut of of that, and both sides were happy. Okay, another item that I just sold is actually a piece of clothing. Finally, um, so I'm really actually trying to get into clothing more now. So, um, luckily, I was able to sell this one. This is a Peter Millar Summer Comfort Men's uh, Golf Polo. So. From what I read and from like watching all these YouTube videos like uh, Reyes the Entrepreneur, uh, one of the brands that they were looking for is Peter Millar. And it was pretty, like I found, luckily I found one, but no one was buying this thing. No one was looking or watching this thing. So I'm like, I thought this was a good brand. Maybe not in Canada, I guess. So um, I got the thing for $4.99. So um, I managed to sell it for $11.99 plus shipping to someone in the US. So. I guess it's more popular in the U.S. as opposed to Canada. So luckily I was able to sell it though. All right, the next item is another game that I had uh, in my house. I didn't have anything in it, but it was a really good game though. It was um, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Master Quest for the Nintendo GameCube. So it's kind of like, I think like two games in one, but oh my gosh, like as soon as I listed it, I had watchers on it and it sold in less than 24 hours. So like, if you see anything like Zelda or anything, I'm pretty sure it's gonna sell pretty quickly. So keep on look out for these things and hopefully you can make some good money on it. So I had nothing in it and I managed to sell it for $46.99. Score. All right, the next one is a 
uh, it was a, this is part of my TurboGrafx-16 system. Um, this was the multi-tap turbo tap. Uh, and you can see it up here. This is the one that will allow you to have four or five different, five more controllers for the system if you were doing a multiplayer game. And so I had nothing in it. And um, luckily it sold for $18 plus shipping. All right, this was a good score for me, honestly. So on Virage, oh, sorry, not Virage Sale, was there? A, no, Facebook Marketplace. So on Facebook Marketplace, someone was selling like a stack of DVD players for free. So I messaged the guy, I said, hey, are you, are, is this for free? Like, are you getting rid of these? He's like, yeah, I, I just want them out of my house. I'm like, all right. I saw pretty good stuff in there. So I had, I, I ended up with the, a DVD combo and then this item and like two other crappy DVD players, but I had a DVD recorder, a Toshiba a DR7K TC2. And this, the comps on this thing were crazy. Like, like in a good condition, even without the remote, they went for about 60, 70 bucks. Now mine was beaten down a bit. There was a bit of scratches and a lot of like dings on it. So I ended up selling the item for, uh, oh, actually I had it for, I think it was $39.99 and so someone made me an offer of $36.27 such a weird number but yeah I took it I mean I had zero in it so I'm like this is this is all profit so why not all right and the last item is I honestly wish I could have kept this jacket if I was skinnier because I love this jacket it was so so cool so this was the Zara uh, varsity baseball jacket that I had um, it was a pretty cool jacket um, I ended up getting it for about uh, I'd say $15.99 from a national thrift and uh, I ended up selling it for $39.99 plus shipping uh, to someone in the states all right guys there you have it those were my sales for the month of April again this is well beyond my expectations I couldn't believe how well it was so in total for like the last, um, I'd say, I, I want to say the, the last two months, um, but pretty much the majority of it was for April. So uh, I ended up reaching $926 in gross sales for the month of April, which is amazing. So I hope to just uh, feed off of that month for this month and hopefully I can do a lot better uh, for the month of May. Summer's coming by and I'm sure people are going to be buying more things. So uh, I am going to doing a couple more things to try to see how I can grow this uh, to a much larger scale and um, hopefully it will turn out okay. I will update you guys on what's going on for sure. Um, I appreciate all you guys for watching and uh, hope you can give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below how your month of April was. Um, I'd love, love to know. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. So with that said, this is ThriftBCQ signing out.